Hi everyone, welcome back. We continue on this list and today we are going to learn about rotate function. This simply rotates your image and you just need to give your input image and this is the destination image and this is the rotate flex you need to specify. Here is the rotate flex. You only see three angles here which is 90, 180 and minus 90. Uh, this is a limited function. You can only rotate your image in these three kind of rotating angles. If you want to specific uh, angles you want to rotate, for example 30, 33, 40 kind of, then you need to use get rotation matrix function which we already talked before please check that video and you can uh, get your function from there and uh, for this video this is limited as i said just three angles we can co or rotate our image okay let's pass to the code part in here and uh, here i already have an uh, example here input image we are already in show and let's specify an output window so we can see the difference okay this is my output window and i wanna show it in there the output in here okay let's create also a out net okay then we can directly call our function rotate uh, here is we we are gonna give the input which is image no need to grayscale or any kind of we can give as input and then the destination is gonna be out and the flag there are three flags we have and let's start with rotate 180 and now we are gonna see the up and down side of the input image okay this is 180 let's try 90 rotate 90 clockwise and also counterclockwise but in here the the thing you need to keep in mind here you see uh, but since this square but if this is not a square image you the the column number and the row number is gonna change just be careful for example if the number of columns is 700 let's say here row number is gonna be 700 because it's uh, yeah rotating and the column and row number is changing yeah and also yeah the other option just the counterclockwise and this is gonna give you the opposite side this function is uh, useful for simple rotation 90 180 kind of but for as i said specific you need to check the get rotation matrix video it's gonna give you what you need and for this video we just talk about this rotate function see you in the next videos